Hello. Hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. But yes. So, some good news. The arm... Hmm. Hmm. Not sure what that was. Anyway, so, good news. The arm is mostly, if not completely, uh, functional once again. But yes, it's not without issues, but I am able to make use of it. I'm going to have to do some a little bit of work here and there to calibrate it in a little bit more and get the uh, issues with the neural connection sorted out. But yes. Anyway, so, arm's good. And all of that. So, tonight, Arc Knight. Tomorrow, not quite sure yet. But yes, if we complete, uh, or rather, if we complete the story of Operation Loose and Arrowhead today, we will not be streaming it again tomorrow. But if we don't, then we will continue as necessary. Let's see, what else is there? So yes, once again, Friday should be the collab. If not, uh, I will see about playing a different game. But yes, the collab will either be uh, continuing Coffee Talk or doing something new. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm pretty sure we... I don't know. Again, we haven't decided anything specific about whether we want to get sort of the secret ending or not for Coffee Talk. We will see. We will see. So yes, beyond that... Yeah, okay. So, if there's a stream tomorrow, it should be sometime around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. But yes, today I got a little bit distracted, I must admit, so that is why I am late. But yes, should be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, and should be around 9 p.m. Central Time on Friday. But yes, beyond that... Nothing else to really be said. I don't expect to stream Thursday or Saturday this week. So, yeah, not a whole lot to be said on those. But yes, one way or the other. If we, uh, yeah, once we are done with Operation Loose and Arrowhead, whether it is completed, which is the most likely scenario, or if it is, uh, ends before we can complete it, which is unlikely and very much undesired. One way or the other, yeah, no more Arknights for the rest of this week. Or, yeah, no more Arknights after it is done, just to be clear. But yes. So, that should be everything that really needs to be said. Real quick, Soul of the White Angel, thank you for the follow. That was the fine folks that we... My folks? The fine fellow that we uh, raided into yesterday. But yes. So... Arknights. Let's play some video games. Oop. Alright, hold on. Got a little bit ahead of myself there. Forgot, uh, forgot a, a step. So, let me get the screen share working. I hope that the game audio is working. That should, that should be fine. Okay, we've got video, and it looks like we've got audio, too. So we should be okay. We should be okay. But yes. Anyway, where was I? Right, Arknights. Anyway, video games. So, we have made our way up to Operation CR8. We did skip the outro, the after story of CR7 last time because I was a little bit late and I didn't want to spend too, too much time. But yes, Operation CR7, the end story, then we will continue into CR8, which I double check and is the final gameplay mission of the story of Operation Lucent Arrowhead. Yeah, again, I don't anticipate playing the challenge stages on stream. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm 100% sure that I won't play them at all, but probably I won't play them on stream, at the very least. But yes. Anyway. Oh, nope. Hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself. After story. 
But yes. So, last time, we had a very funny incident with our associate, Raynell, who did a very funny thing that was very amusing to me. Um, but anyway, beyond that, we also learned that he has rigged the Galleria to explode, which is less funny. Especially because the coalition government forces led by Mateo just led a whole bunch of hostages into the into the Galleria, intending to loot the place and strip the attendees of any valuables that they may have. Which is uh, doubly bad, because that means that everyone is going to explode unless we do something about it, in addition to getting robbed. But yes, one or the other would be bad, both would be very bad, but Team Rainbow is on the job, as well as Rhodes Island, or at least the members of Rhodes Island who happen to be present here, and the members of the street art community have also stepped in, originally having planned to just sort of have an impromptu performance outside of the Galleria, despite the attempts from Mateo's men to agitate them into violence to justify his uh, taking of hostages. But yeah. A, yeah, to excuse it as him attempting to defend them from a terrorist threat. When indeed, he is the biggest threat to basically everyone's lives here. But yes, not that he knows it. And of course, when he was told about it, uh, he shot the subordinate who told him in the back. So, whether or not Mateo is taking the... the... <laughs> topic as seriously as he perhaps should remains to be seen. Anyway, so, use Sitrap. Leo, defenders are pretty lazy. Zero guard against us storming them, and we didn't give them any time to notify their superiors. Good work. Time to begin the siege. The Rainbow Six Siege. Everyone, we have to act quickly. Don't get sloppy, and don't give the defenders any time to react. Let's go. Did you hear something out there just now? An explosion? I think so. No way, those lunatics actually came crashing in. For what? To rescue Raynell? Yes. No more hallucinating catch. This one's some kind of Yanny's porcelain. Might smash with a single bump. Careful. You almost smashed it along with the entire display case just now. You turn around and tell me. By the way, didn't our leader break that vase thing and say he was going upstairs to report to El Capitan? How come he's still not back? Probably still climbing the stairs, just like the first time we came. Or he's talking with El Capitan about giving these things a home. Maybe they've even figured out how much each of them are pocketing. Grenade out! Uh-oh. No hostages in the room. Take out the defenders. Uh, you guys! Don't whip out. The rapid fire doesn't pack enough punch. Uh, I'm not scared. I just want to find somewhere safe to call for reinforcements. Don't even think about it. Decent shot. Shame your charges just now were too weak. Took less than that from a slug bite. And how about now? Wait, you're the attackers? You must be crazy to seriously... Of course we're serious. Ayla, what's that thing you say? Clear? Nice work, but give us a heads up next time. Doc, Yana, keep moving. Per tequila's dis directions to the bulk of the hostages. Hostage safety is priority one. No wonder we sent Fuse elsewhere. No rash action in a bad situation. I'll lead the others to sweep the first floor of the fenders, then we'll rendezvous with you. Copy. Yes, Techno, let's go. Yes? Look at all this art. The duelist throwing a javelin, Minoan sculpture, 
This one's a pure gold etched enamel revolving case base from Rian. A manuscript from the great Ursine author Sergei Katyev. Let me see which one of his it is. The receiver electrifying, or in the mire of the heart. Ugh. This is the one. Raynell has it in his collection. He and Mateo are two kinds of scoundrels. One's blowing it up, one's selling it all. Nothing but... Whatever. We'll leave it to the next guys to sort out. Let's move. A pulse. A pressing pulse. In the deathly silent room, there is but a rapidly, incessantly pounding heart and not else. Save for... Stay back. I'm not letting you in. You come in, we'll take you with us. Matching noises about the door can be heard. The noise is gone. She is gone. Cut, cut, cut. What a scary scene. What was this like called? Oh, Panic at the Museum, the Sancta Slaughter. This is the one by that sarcast director who lives in Colombia. Figures they made the villain a Sancta in this one then. Looks like Raynell's security isn't too busy most of the time. Guess all he can do is sit here watching tapes and fantasizing about murders taking place in his gallery. Good for them, though? The way El Capitan sees it, ever be one worth anything is downstairs moving stuff already. Meanwhile, you got us, who don't really care two ways about him, and we get to sit here on cushy guard duty. There's trouble downstairs. I want a report from anyone who knows what. ASAP. Trouble? There's gunfire and explosions down there. People on the sixth floor heard it. What's going on with you? Are you blind or deaf? They told you to turn the volume down a little. But no, you wouldn't. Shut up, you. I'll contact downstairs straight away. Uh, nope, not getting through. Would I be asking you if I could? I want you to figure out what happened downstairs immediately. If there are troublemakers, flatten them. If they're fighting their way in, I want them out. Getting the art into the trucks is our highest priority. Don't go, Scardulo, don't. No one who goes downstairs ever comes back. That Sancta woman's gone crazy. I saw her kill everyone in a public bathroom, and now she's after our lives. As waves of screams and shrieks emanate from the TV, the seven or eight soldiers in the one cramped surveillance room all look at each other in dismay. Appreciate that. Good news. Defenders in the surveillance room haven't noticed our drones. Most hostages inside are in shock, and it appears that the defenders have robbed them too. But at least there's no casualties, and the emotions seem manageable. Defenders have noticed something not right downstairs. I assume they reported to their superiors just now, but clearly none are willing to leave what must seem like their, little, their safe little panopticon. Good news indeed. You keep monitoring them. I'll contact Ella. We'll discuss countermeasures. Hey. Gabby, what's going on? What was all that ruckus downstairs? I... I don't know. Don't know? You spent long enough. Quit dawdling. I, I'm just... minding my surroundings. I have got the, just got to the stairwell entrance. Your voice is trembling, Clavon. What, did the spooky movie get to you? <laughs> Shut up. Besides, I don't see you down here. It's always like this. You guys shove everything onto me. Huh? Gabby? Gabby? No. We can't let anyone else go downstairs. Weren't you watching in the surveillance room? That Sancta Madwoman didn't even have to touch her. She just unloaded into the receiver when Scardulo picked up and turned her into a pile of... of... The sobbing begins. What's the situation? Have you figured it out? Sir, we sent a man on recon and he just suddenly stopped responding. You useless sacks. S sir, how about you send someone else to the first floor? We really can't spare a single man. No response means you keep sending people down or I stop on the second floor to shoot you all dead before heading down there myself. Honestly, you'd just be saving time, I think. Nobody move. Out! <sighs> Empty. 
every scout we've sent has gone missing one by one. Or maybe the first floor's <laughs> haunted. What in the imagination you have? Get a little sleep for now. Ooh, the... Hey, Ramon? Ramon? You, you gotta say something. Dropped again. That's the fourth one. Four times. Four men. Every time, as soon as they get downstairs, they just... No one picks up on that sentence. The terminals have all been tossed into one corner of the room. On occasion, the indistinct bellows of El Capitan emanate from the pile, but no one is giving them a response anymore. Maybe it's because they went one at a time, so we were just feeding them one by one to... So how many do you want to doom each time? It's sank the madwoman. Her mind's not right. She's a homicidal maniac. She, She's outside the door. She's smiling at us through the access surveillance cam. Mayo, just hang the intercom up. She can't get in. She's pointing her gun at me. She's, she's pulling the trigger. All she can do is wreck the cam. Just calm down. A gunshot rings out. What the? Mayo, dead? Is that a bullet hole? What they said. How about we watch a different tape? The two stare at each other with slackened gazes for a moment before the worn-out soldier gets up, travels to another corner of the room, and grabs a random tape to shove into the recorder. While well, the art investor here from Casimir's, <clears throat> the art investor here from Casimir's, let's inter let's welcome our guest today, Mr. Raynell Kowalski, the new star of Dussel's art scene. What did you put this on for? Are you sick? I didn't know they taped the TV on this one. Switch it out. Switch it out. Hello. Hello. Pleased to meet you, new faces. It's been a whole day. And it's been a whole day, old faces. It's me, your host for this program. You're... I don't do this, but I'm begging you. Please, switch it again. Listening to this presenter makes my brain hurt. These three tapes are all we've got. The security guy just watches these three tapes on repeat. What do you do if you what do you find if you open up his brain? Soup. Today's episode is a special one for all you tourists here in Das Ols for the first time. The worn-out soldier firmly pressed punches the eject button. Let's just finish watching the movie. The heathenly devils. Your day of reckoning is come. Uh, 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 I'm warning you. My grandpa's a big deal in Cosdell. You wouldn't want to see his witchcraft, even in death. <laughs> don't, don't you laugh so crooked. <laughs> witchcraft. <laughs> is filled by sunlight and all dark across the land has disappeared without a trace she that is the twin moons will fall upon your cage beast cell the dark will gush forth into your eyes and there you will meet your demise inhabiting gemini shuffling amidst from the center of the room a single soldier, biting his lip, shivering head to toe, hands clenched tight, turns his gaze away from the screen, and with a shudder, over his shoulder, he sees, inside the room, out of nowhere, a bizarre woman. He sees that woman's complexion and her hair, both just as pale. He sees that woman point at him with a tremendous firearm, the likes of which he's never seen before. No surveillance cam needed now. Those etched bullets can straight, pierce straight through his heart in an instant. He sees that woman standing there, yet as though she's somewhere else entirely, as though she doesn't even draw breath. He sees that woman whose head is crowned by a halo. Don't look back. Don't look back, because I am right behind you. The soldier that has looked back lets out a breathless wail, leading the others to nervously follow where his gaze has gone. 
<laughs> There's no such thing as ghosts. The soldier's, se the soldier's senses tell him his shot landed, but the bolt meets no obstruction as it continues its trajectory, passing straight through the woman's body. Just like that, she vanishes, and only the afterimage of the halo above her head still... Ah! Sir, report! It's a Sancta! The enemy's a Sancta with spatial movement arts. She's a homicidal maniac. Her mind's not right. She can shoot people dead through surveillance camp. Ugh. Clear. Clear. I didn't think just turning the lights out when the Gemini got hit would be enough to spread that much panic. Meanwhile, on the TV in the corner of the room, the Sancta continues the Silver Screen Massacre. Kill. 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 I've, I'll cut off each of your horns and hang them as chimes upon the Lateran itself. Thank you all so much. If you're after anything in terms of art investments, please be sure to let me... Stop wasting breath. Beat those feet. Right, right. Hmm? Who's that you're carrying? He got beat up for resistance, and he's still concussed. Faster if I give him a ride. Wow, well, nice to see some tough stuff among these guys. By the way, we're in Exhibition Hall 2 of the Galleria right now. Did you get to see that manuscript you wanted? Uh, completely forgot about that. Evacuating all these people. Manuscript? The Minoan's Bard. Minoan Bards. Pamphlet says it's the highlight of the collection for Hall 2. Know where it is? I caught sight of it just now. It's on the other hand of the hall. I can take you over if you'd like. Lead the way, then. Sir, you can put me down now. You're concussed, aren't you? Just point the way. It'll be faster. Evac of hall hostages almost complete. Things went smoothly, Lee, thanks to your Gemini replicator. She shakes her head. I don't know if we... I didn't know we'd get the break that lucky. It was just meant to be bait, that's all. I was expecting they'd unload all their firepower on the replicate like your community people did. All I can say is it took up a good position, and those defenders chose a good movie to pass ta the time. Defenders outside the gallery are all swept now. What do we do? Head to the third floor and rescue Ernesto? Wait up! You're that, uh, the, the... Whatever. You can't go for any further that way. What happened? Oh, Mr. Milos. Not with Raynell after all, then. No. Situation's urgent. Tell us anything surplus after the fact. You need to leave the Galleria ASAP. You're not going to interrogate me for any useful information? We're out of time for that. I want to make a deal. I'll give you some information, and I'm hoping that after you have this information... We can rescue Raynell? Yes. Mr. Milos, if Raynell hasn't, hadn't set up the bombs, this terrorist attack may have never come to fruition in the first place. Raynell couldn't wire the entire gallery with bombs on his own. He suggested the idea, that's all. I imagine you know who carried the deed out. I know the timing on the bombs and how to most efficiently disarm them. And that's how you plan to coerce us? How could I? You aren't the type to suffer coercion. I'm just hoping my willingness to cooperate can pull together a lifeline for him. All right. Tell us what you know, then. There are time bombs set to go off this morning at 10 a.m. If you want to stop them, you'll need to take care of four nodes along the detonator line. One of the four is in the basement. One's in a dark room on the third floor. One's on the balcony of the sixth floor. And one is in the ventilation shaft in Raynell's own office. Sounds almost true. The one in the basement is most complicated. I suggest one of you go there with me. I will. Good. Heck no. Take the others. Keep searching for any more places where hostages might, might be hiding. Diaz, Catapult, you handle e you, e you handle one each of the third and sixth floor nodes. Doc, Yana and I will keep heading for the top. We'll buy more time to disarm the penthouse node. Third floor dark rooms are relatively hard to find. 
It's right above this hall, effectively, but getting there's a nightmare. I need a pen and paper to draw a quick map of the route. No need. I'll take it. <gasps> Ernesto! Leave the dark room to me and Arletta. The sixth floor note is in the stairwell. There's a wall that'll look suspicious and be very easy to break down. Leave that to me. Breaking a wall is a very firefighter-y thing to do. <sighs> I'm finally here and it's just you two left. So, how do you feel seeing the manuscript? Uh, wait, why are you carrying him now? Uh, as soon as he saw the manuscript, he cried so hard he couldn't even breathe and eventually passed out from his tears. It was all I could do to bear him on my back instead. He passed out. Doc, Doc, we need you. Someone's fainted over here. He's fine. He just cried himself out. His emotions likely overwhelmed him upon seeing the manuscript of his dreams. Let him rest for a while in fresh air and he'll be fine. If you say so. Miss Ayla, that's every card up my sleeve. It's all yours now. Noted. What happens if we fail? What if we aren't able to rescue him? In that case, I'll stay behind and keep him company. I hope you can save the others before then, Miss Ayla. I don't want any more people than necessary in here. Right. I pulled the metal casing off and inside there's a total of... Milos, you crackpot. There's 12 whole bomb wires here. What? One of the basement has over 40 connections. Whatever, I'll settle this later. Right now, I just need to dewire one by one, right? Yeah, yeah, got it. And screw as fast as possible. Half connected states can send the explosives run away easy. Understood. Ayla, how's things on your side? Small band of resistance on the fourth floor still. Wow. He has stops talking, wipes the sweat off his forehead, and focuses on dealing with the chaotic nest of wires at hand. He has to decouple fast and unscrew the connectors right after using an insulator to cover up the naked wires and avoid any short circuits. In a trance, his days with the Singas army float through his mind, where his job was always to secure the connectors in. He furrows his brow and smacks his lip, hands never stopping. What happened then has nothing to do with now. Now he's no more than a firefighter in the middle of dock of bomb disposal. The wires are more or less decoupled now. There's two left and all risk of explosion in the area is gone. He's gotten a handle of how to most quickly twist these connectors off, push down the, for the first half, spin slowly, and start turning with all his might for the second half until it's off. He counts down the rotations on the second connector. Now just five, six, seven, six, five. Seize that old man! You really don't want to do that. Two of El Capitan's men charge for the old firefighter with sabers in hand while three crossbows are poised on the floor above. The old firefighter's heart hands freeze upon the connector, and for a spell, he's not—he's somehow not sure if he's meant to twist one way or the other. Well, that's not good. Sit. Oh. All right. Operation CR8. We've got a good amount of time for this. Oh, here's hoping. But yes, we could improve the team a little bit more with some more levels, I think. I think, yeah, the temporary cover is probably better for a general purpose gadget. If we need the, if we need the mines, we will use them. I'll switch rope out because I don't know that she's going to be strictly necessary here. So, who to put in for plates? I suppose we could maybe do with a Dreadnought or something of the sort. And I suppose we don't have a better Dreadnought than the Toy Maru. So, back on the squad. Yes. So, yeah, nothing else to be said before we get started, I suppose. Sir, we brought the hostage. It really is you, old man. 
put up a fierce fight and even wounded one of our men, but he did, but we didn't hold back. We made him bleed. All right, you did a pretty good job out there. Get back to work. What is it? Capitan, the fact that this old man made it up to the sixth floor means that there must be a lot of them. We might not be able to... Might not be able to what? Let me be clear with all of you. If it doesn't come together, we're done for. One other thing, I have no idea what this guy was doing with all these wires running inside the wall. Stop asking questions and get back to work. Okay, so Mateo absolutely does not care about the fact that he's almost certainly going to explode. So, uh, yeah, Mateo is absolutely going to destroy himself if we don't do something about this, which is maybe not the worst thing in the world, but we would prefer it if, you know, nobody else got exploded, ideally, especially if our teammates didn't get exploded. Yes, sir. All right, Diaz, what brought you and your men over to the Galleria? You already know the answer to that, Mateo. We've rescued the hostages and your minions have been taken out. It won't be long until all of the souls knows that it was you who orchestrated and staged this terrorist attack. Basically, you're finished. You can't fool me. You can't think you're going to ship all of those art pieces for a quick buck, can you? Listen, all the trucks you brought, only a single one is loaded, and we've already got the driver and guard. Your get-rich-quick scheme is ruined. What? If you don't believe me, just ask the men you sent downstairs. We already knew about the bombs, so let's wrap things up before they blow. Bombs. Raynell, when are your bombs supposed to go off? Give me the time. Tell me when the bombs go off, Raynell. Talk! Are you a deaf mute now? If you're that desperate to get blasted to pieces, I can fulfill your wish right here and now. 10 o'clock. Give it up, Mateo. You'd better figure out what you're going to do, because there's not much time left. If you have a shred of sanity left, let me out of these cuffs. There are four bomb caches in this building, three of which we have under control. They'll be diffused in no time. We're short the one in the ventilation shaft of Raynell's office. Miserable old man. If I, found out, if I find out you're lying to me, you're dead meat. Capitan swears viciously and grabs the terminal before striding over into the wall by the shadow of the office. Shadow by the wall of the office. The old firefighter looks up at the sky. Renell finds his usual posture, leaning comfortably beside a huge painting. An awkward silence lingers over the balcony. Diaz. No, you st can still speak after all. How do you know when the bombs are supposed to go off? Who told you? Why? Are you upset you can't use explosives to turn your investor's money into scrap paper? Doesn't make a difference. There's another node in the ventilation shaft. It might not be enough to destroy the artwork downstairs, but it is enough to turn this whole gallery into rubble and send that money up in smoke. It's also enough to end the lives of the men up here on the balcony. In the face of what I'm about to accomplish, does that really matter? Diaz. Though she has already steeled herself, Ayla can't help but feel a chill grip her heart the moment she sees what's in front of her. A large hole has been dug out on the side of the stairwell, and a multitude of metallic appendages protruding from it sprawl all over the ground, a number of them crushed by people who had fallen to the ground. But even more conspicuous is the blood spilled on the floor of the stairwell. A trail of blood that has already begun turning black around the hole it emerges from, and extends all the way upstairs. Before Ayla can pick up her terminal to report the situation, the ground beneath her feet suddenly starts shaking. Oh no. <laughs> Ayla, what's going on up there? It's as you fear. The explosives in the half-connected state went out of control and started detonating, causing a small-scale collapse. Are you hurt? I'm fine, but the sight of the explosion doesn't look good. It might get in the way of... Ayla walks down a few steps before she can finish her sentence. The gravel and rubble, tightly choking the stairwell, come squarely into view. What happened just now? What exactly is the situation up there? <sighs> the, co 
collapse caused by the explosion has completely sealed off the stairwell before the, between the 5th and 6th floors. Considering that Reyna Elric designed only one stairwell to the upper levels of the Galleria Cristawa and his elevator is out of commission, I'm cut off from the rest of you. Ak and I are at the explosion too. What is this? Solutions first. Can the stairwell be cleared with the tools you have? Ayla tries to push the large slab of concrete in front of her. Not easily. Wait for me. I'll be up there in a second. Ekno and Milos are also on the way. We're going to find a way to clear the rubble. But it's 9.35 right now. We're running out of time. I'll break through and make my way up. You guys follow after me as soon as you clear the rubble. If you can't do that in time, I'll at least find a way to get Diaz out safely. Wait, Ayla, that's way too dangerous. Think this through carefully, Ayla. I'll give it to you straight. Clearing through the debris might take longer than expected. My point exactly. We can't wait around sitting for Diaz to get blown to pieces, can we? Are you sure you can do this? Of course. I trust all of you, and I also trust in myself. Sounds good to me. Yana? Doc? Yana smiles wryly. Looks like nobody can stop you. Please be careful. Thanks. Hmm. Static. And the communicator seems like it's about to die. Use after we get out of this mess, make sure to charge it up for me. I've about had it with this stupid place. Climbing stairs on my first day, and now I'm cl still climbing stairs on my last. If you want out, then pick up the pace. Also, what was that loud noise with the tremors just now? It seemed like the whole building was shaking. We're wasting time. Hurry up and head down. The soldiers, eager to head downstairs, suddenly run into Ayla in the not-so-wide corridor. Both sides immediately raise their weapons. Ayla aims her muzzle at the, at the leader, but her target is only one among the soldiers who does not respond. Out of the way, Raynell's bodyguard. We're short on time. What a coincidence. I'm in the same boat. Wait, didn't the Capitan tell us to... Shut up. Bodyguard, you saw the hole in the wall and those wires on the sixth floor, didn't you? What is that? Explosives. Raynell planted enough explosives in the building to flatten the whole place. Now, out of my way. On oh, yeah, I knew it! The irate soldier heads down the stairs with increased urgency while the others stand there in a daze, not having grasped the link between the art gallery and the bombs. Ayla also pays them no heed. She tries to pass, push past the group of soldiers with her shoulders. Hold, hold on, this isn't right! Stop that woman right now! Hurry! Despite their bewilderment, the soldiers still subconsciously spring to carry out their order, grouping up to surround Ayla. What are you getting at now? Oh no. The path right under us, is, under us is blocked. You know how to get out of this place, right? Take me with you. Hurry. Otherwise, we're both going to die here. Ayla swears under her breath. The men in front of her clearly can't be reasoned with, yet she is the one caught in the most disadvantageous position. I finally got through. Hurry up and report. Now. Just a Concetumere, mare. Did everyone go deaf F today? Sir, have you known about the explosives in the art gallery this entire time? It was news to me too. Just give me your report now. We have ways of dealing with the explosives. There's nothing to report. What? If I had to say something, it'd be that the only staircase going down is completely sealed off. Over. The soldier slams the communicator into the ground in a fit of rage. No one is taking orders from El Capitan anymore, so you'll get us out of here, right? You must know the way out. You've got that wrong. I'm going upstairs to save a life, not running for my own. Drop the act already. There's no way you're fooling all of us. You must know the way out. The leader's words become more and more jumbled, but the routed soldiers start to understand, one after another. Laying the Gersmot mines, getting out of the blast zone, then swiftly coursing her way out before the soldiers can act, Ayla has it all planned out in her head. 
Her actions might invite another group of pursuers, but there is no other option. With each second she wastes here, Diaz's peril continues to grow. Grenade out. Brace for impact. At almost the same instant, the order leaves her lips. Ayla leaps and vaults over the stair handrails. Just on the other side of the ignored wall, a, a grenade soars through the air and finds a place to lodge itself, ripping apart the surface. The soldiers, their attention drawn away by Ayla, do not notice the wall behind them until they are bowled over by a surge of shattered bricks, sweltering heat, and shockwave. Before they can turn their weapons to the gaping hole in the wall or even stand, the well-trained soul squad has already rushed in under the cover of their ballistic shields. There we go. Alright, Team Rainbow has arrived. Go, go, go! Laying suppressive fire. Or I should say the rest of Team Rainbow has arrived. Hostile down. Raglos at 3 o'clock. Hostile down. One more behind, below us. Watch for friendly fire. Leo. Good work. Ayla, are you alright? Owen, Hina, Kotz, Alexander. See, I told you Ayla would be inside. We couldn't have come at the better time. Very good, very good. Uh, looks like we have a good number of stragglers on our tail outside the stairwell. How's the situation on your end? I was just on my way to the roof to free the hostage. The explosives go off at 10 o'clock. Where are the others? The smaller explosion before sealed off the only staircase. Understood. We'll trace your steps after we finish off the hostiles pursuing us. Hey. Thank you all so much, really. Words aren't enough. That's it. To be honest, Diaz, I was rather fond of what you people were doing in the street art community. You think now is the time to bring that up? If not now, when? Which side would you take on the subject of explosives? You've lost your mind. I'm being serious. You've got some good stuff over there. Are you not afraid of death at all? I've already fulfilled my life's calling. What is there to be afraid of? Then again, you seem pretty composed yourself. At least nothing like that lily white captain over there. Why is that? I found a place where I truly belong, and lived out a long enough life there. If I manage to survive this mess the two of you joined hands to make, I'd like to see my community rise from, again from the ashes. If not, all I can say is, too bad. You have that much confidence in the street artist? Simple answer. They're my family, and I know them well. As long as we're together, anything is possible. What? You not have any people like that around you? I did, but when we were together, we only ever did what I wanted. Mateo, your people should have told you what you need to know on the phone, so you should understand the situation. Hurry up and let me disarm the node. At least that way, neither of us has to die. Not going to happen, old man. Mateo turns to Raynell, who is leaning to the side, a somewhat twisted expression on his face as he grabs a golf club. Raynell, you wouldn't want your carefully crafted fireworks show to go to waste, right? <sighs> we'll make a two-in-one deal. You promise me that you'll blow this place to bits at the scheduled time, and I'll let you and the old man over there hold on to your lives. I know you're the only person who can access the elevator in your office. Nobody else, not even Milos. Now, all you need to do is give me the elevator key and let me go down. And I'll let you and the old man leave, considering... Mateo glances at the clock above his head. It reads 9.50. We have plenty of time. Don't go quiet on me now. You two were so chatty a minute ago. Raynell blinks a few times. You really want me to say what I think? Of course. Mateo, do you know my greatest fear? What I'm most worried about here? The elevator key, now. My greatest fear is that the filthy blood flowing out of your corpse could seep into the rubble and pollute all the art. Shut up, and give me the key. Mateo, stop, what are you doing? Don't move, or I'll mess you up too.
It's fine, Diaz. Let this sad little man <laughs> blow off some steam. The key. Don't make me say it again. You know, Mateo, I just thought of a perfect analogy. I didn't ask you. You're like a bloated burden beast that has broken into a solemn memorial hall, stinking up the whole place without a care in the world. So proud of yourself as you watch everyone cover their mouths and noses with their handkerchiefs. You feel like you're the one in control since they're all acting that way because of you. Just like right now, you think that as long as you offer me a deal, I'll give in to your coercion because I'm desperate to escape. You think that old Diaz and I will watch you disappear down the elevator in despair as we struggle to get downstairs, isn't that right? Unfortunately, at the end of the day, a burden beast is nothing more than a domesticated animal. I said, shut up. If you're in that much of a hurry to make it downstairs, I suggest jumping down the elevator shaft. Shut up! In a fit of rage, Mateo strikes Paint Raynell with a heavy blow to the back. Diaz, his hands still bound, tries to rush up to Mateo, but is kicked away. Don't get too excited. The two of you can settle down. After all, we're going to become monuments to Galleria Cristela in a few short minutes. I said, shut up! Mateo lifts up the golf club in his hand, high into the air again, this time taking aim at the back of Raynell's head. Frag grenade out. Throwing flashbang. Who's that? For a moment, a loud boom and a blinding light filled the spacious balcony. After the dizziness and tinnitus gradually fade away, the people on the balcony see a woman, furious and nevertheless silent, step out from behind the wall. Very cool, very cool. There was once a painting there, now replaced only by the smoldering remnants of a frame. Very cool. The canvas, blasted to pieces, swirls around the woman as if her silent rage had converged into a firestorm. Successfully broken through to the balcony on the top level of the art gallery. Three individuals on the balcony, Diaz Gonzalez, Reynel Kowalski, and a sad little clown. Everyone, cover me. This will be our final mission. Very good, very good. Alright, I am ready for this moment. Maybe not, you know, practically, but... Talk. Now we act. So, we got two spots to defend. Maybe I should have looked at the map beforehand, but anyway, we've got two spots to defend. And, we've also got a reason to use the Team Rainbow Operators. Or at least the other ones, rather. Hmm, so this is a defense rune. And it's also a place where we're going to see a lot of enemies, it looks like. Your voice. The Originium Explosives will harm our own units, so we need to be very careful with those. Myrtle should be up to her healinglings. Yeah, just about now. Let's see. Okay, we've got more enemies coming from that side. And, yeah, well-defended enemies at that. Understood. A bit of a worry. Yes, Pierce is doing pretty okay. Down you go. Yes, all things considered. Yes, one nice thing about Stewart is the fact that he does focus specifically on enemies with the highest defense rather than just whichever one would uh, normally follow targeting priority. Free. We do want this guy gone quickly, though. Um, hmm. All right, we're gonna get people coming from behind. Ca ah, Mateo. Okay, okay. After Mateo, the coalition army he refuses to recognize the dead end he stands at and employs violence against anyone who reminds him of that. No, not so useful from a gameplay pr perspective, but it does give us a little bit of uh, insight into this sad little man. Coming to prove myself. Free. Yes, Mateo is going to try to shoot our operators, but he's not going to succeed if I have anything to say about it. He might shoot Myrtle a bit. We're not too worried about that. It'd be less than ideal, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Freeze. 
but yes, we're doing pretty okay so far. I don't mind if, yeah, I don't mind if Stezia gets shot a bit. We do want to protect this barricade, though. We're not taking too much damage so far, I guess because of the uh, reinforcement device. All right, this is yeah. We do have, yeah. Myrtle is reaching a point where she's not. Well, yeah. Okay. We probably don't need Myrtle immediately. But who we want in her place is well, Spot almost certainly. Um, Spot can get a little bit more healing, and he has quite a bit of blocking. And uh, we have just lost. Uh, we have just lost Stewart. Could have reinforced that barricade as well, but it is what it is. Yes, our units are, or the enemies are now out of the Stasia's range. Because yes, enemies have gotten by Fuse. Fuse can start blocking again now. Ah, but Spot is now stunned. Hmm. Alright, let's place a cover device. Doesn't Don't see any harm in this. Okay, so those stuns are something we definitely want to avoid. Um, so yeah, the damage is not a problem. It is only the stuns, I think, at least at this point. Um, Yana could be good as well. So again, we just all we're really doing here is uh, how do we want to swing this? Um, okay, more damage is good. Uh, <laughs> We just need these enemies, like, down faster, especially since we're, uh, now no longer able to block all of them. I don't want to place a unit in front of Fuse, necessarily, but I think it's gonna be necessary. Oh dear. Reinforce that. Um... Oh, we just lost spot. Oh dear, that's very bad, actually. Alright, we've already lost. Unfortunate. Your story doesn't end here. Indeed. All right. So, this is going to be a challenge. But, that's what we live for. So, Mateo shoots quite a lot. Hmm. Tick. So, yes. So, we do have a advanced guard. I had noticed someone had broken something, but I didn't notice who it was. The armored scout is not going down as fast as I would like. I think we're going to need more AoE damage. And we could always deploy our good friend. But we'll see how we could how we can do without Hitrit. I do want to reorganize the forces a little bit though. Largely because I want to uh, deploy some of the Rick Team Rainbow Operators. So, instead of Poisson, Blitz. Um, yeah, Blitz. Should we go get the bad guys, maybe? Just a suggestion. Instead of Makoi Maru, Pachanka. Yes, yes, I know. But yes, I don't think we can justify swapping out too many more units. We already have ranged physical damage in the form of Ayla and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, in the form of Ayla and, to a lesser extent, uh, Iana. But yes, Tachanka is good because he is able to reduce enemy defense. Blitz is good because he can stun enemies. Um... I think Steward could probably stand to be replaced with a Blast Caster. But yes, again, a Phalanx Caster could also be decent, but I think a Blast Caster, or Splash Caster rather, would be more immediately applicable. As far as teamwork's concerned, I so don't Lava. Mind, as long as nobody messes up. Yeah, more arch damage I think is a high priority. Ayla is also able to stun. Well, she could in theory stun if I had her on her other mines. Um, 
FPS. Or, oh, no, I do have her on her stun lines. Anyway, so. We need to deal with the high defense enemies quickly because, in general, we need to get rid of enemies faster there. That was our main issue. We were just, they were just piling up too fast for us to deal with. Um, Fuse. Fuse is perfectly fine. I don't think we're going to want Cluster Charge here. Blitz is fine. Spot is also fine. Um, maybe Perfumer could have been better than Gabiel, at least in this instance. Okay. At the very least, we also know where exactly to deploy Myrtle. I'm, here to help. I'm guessing this lower area oh, here is probably where Mateo is going to end up one way or at one point. So yes, I almost feel like, given what we've seen, maybe you shouldn't be the backline. And maybe instead it should be someone else. Though, um, what's the range on healing wings, I wonder? Well, okay, I can't hesitate. I need to put someone on that defense tile because, yeah, Myrtle is not going to be able to block on her own. So I think, yeah. Just be decisive, play Spot. Yeah, okay. yeah, fine. Spot's not a great choice, but he's a choice. Huh, Young wings. And now we can start deploying other units. We want to be able to attack multiple Please, units I'm... at once, so Fused is good. I think, yeah, Healing Wings does have enough range that can heal Fused where he is. Of course, being off the defense tile, Fuse is taking damage a little bit faster than I would like, but there's not much to be said or done about that. I won't be afraid. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. So Bot can also is... provide some emergency healing, and one way or the other, we need arch damage, like now. Okay. There we go. That's it. Did I? Okay. No, I was gonna say, did I? Did I make a mistake? I did. Kind of did. I'm pretty sure it's not great, but it's manageable. Okay, maybe it's less manageable than I thought it was. Okay, anyway. So. Myrtle. Defense. Yes. Heal. Astesia. So, Perfumer might have been a bit of a poor choice for this. Are you waiting? Even the dead can't save you. Hmm. But yeah, because we're not really... Yeah, it's not like we're taking damage, too much damage on multiple targets, and we've got enough units who can heal that it's not that big of an issue. Quite the crossbow that Mateo has there, huh? Whatever you um, say. But yes, more damage would be good, but I'm not confident in anyone in particular. But if anyone can do it, the Chonka can do it. Maybe. Ready for action. Lend me your wings. Among the stars. Oh. oh, Myrtle got the stun. Um not terrible. Not the worst thing in the world. Better than Spot getting stunned, I think. Um Oh, he's about to get stunned. Or not. Okay. Now Myrtle's Oh, I was going to say, now Myrtle's blocking something. Myrtle is not blocking something. That's part of the problem. Okay, we had two enemies leak through. All right. Lava is not doing the kind of damage we need, and neither is anyone else. Um, I've been hesitant to put down ranged units, but we need more damage. Um, oh, yes, Mark. Uh, wait. Oh, no, Chanka doesn't have any healing. Um... Yeah, Lava is what not not making this happen. Um, the oh, cool. Yes. Kamika, please, thank you. All right, Myrtle just got shot. That's fine. We're not too concerned about that. Um, Fox can get a little bit of healing for everyone. All right, we're still not taking enemies out as fast as I would like. We can get some defense on Ayla. I've got grenades. I don't know why I'm not using them. Um. So, what else can we do here? Um, placing more... Oh dear. Well, I didn't realize that the uh, cover had gone. 
Um, 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 lips. The situation is rapidly degenerating, but... Mm, Ayla, at least, is going... Getting shot is not the worst thing that could happen to us. I'd really rather her not go down, but... Okay, let's get some stuns to going. I guess we do now have a, a tile that is not deployable. Okay, never mind. Um... Oh dude, who just went down? Oh yeah, the old dude. Who got Gabby? Oh dear, we got. Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. We got an advanced guard. I forgot about them. Okay. So. So. All right. The situation is possibly unsalvageable, but it could just be that we've moved into a different phase of the mission. Let's say. If that enemy tries to go for our defend point, then we have lost, but... Okay, the enemy's trying to go for our defend point, so we have lost. Run! Unfortunate. So... <clears throat> probably we're going to spend the rest of the stream trying to figure this out. Okay, so... Lava did not do it for us did not kill things fast enough, we didn't have enough damage on the ground. Yeah, the high defense enemies, the armored scouts are just, yeah, too big of a deal. Probably the exposure did not help us, especially since, yeah, it made Mateo attack units that I really would rather he not have. Um, the explosive is down there are something. I'm not sure what really to do with them. I feel almost like we could use... I feel like we could use maybe a uh, one of the mines. But I don't want to give up the reinforcements, and I don't want to give up the... I don't want to give up... Yeah, I don't want to give up reinforcements, and I don't want to give up the hover devices. Hmm... Not, there aren't very many good places to place additional units. We might need to rely more on stalling, but we'd also need to be able to heal more. Placing Myrtle on the defend tile would be bad, I think, because we would need to get her out of the way, and I would want her to stick around longer than that. Um... But yes, we need more arts damage, definitely. And we need more multi-target damage. So, why not go for multi-target arts damage? Hmm. I don't know. Again, I don't just want to use Ifrit. But, she does happen to be probably the most applicable caster for this role. Beeswax is also a possibility. Beeswax is probably a pretty decent option, to be honest. Um, hmm. The only issue is that Beeswax has very limited uptime on her on her attacks. Yeah, she only attacks like about 15 seconds out of every. Yeah, because her skill takes 28 seconds to build up. Lasts for 15 seconds. Um, even, even if she's doing damage in a wider area, she's not, we don't need that much area. She's more defended when she's not attacking, but that's not that helpful for us right now. She could be good sort of in the place of Ayla, like physically in the place of Ayla. Um, I do think I still want Ayla around for the stuns, but I don't think I'd replace her entirely. Yes, where we put Ayla would probably be a decent place to put Beeswax, considering the Chi is effectively kind of a cover. Um, at the very least, she reduces uh, reduces her damage taken pretty significantly. Um, 
Kabe is another choice because she is tailor-made for taking out high defense enemies. But, I don't know, again, Kabe sort of falls into the same category of Ifrit as a unit that's just kind of, like, really good, but maybe not necessarily one that I... I don't know, okay. Again, I'm overthinking this a lot. Uh, for now, since I don't necessarily just want to switch out for a better unit, let's make Ifrit, or sorry, Lava into a better unit. Thanks. Didn't show her on screen while she thanked me, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, Lava, we can upgrade her skill a little bit. I don't want to hesitate too much because we do have a game to play. As far as teamwork's concerned, I don't mind. We're not using Doc, so we could maybe switch him out for someone else. As much as I would love to have all of Team Rainbow on the team, I would also love to win. And while I'm worried about whether or not the, we'd be able to clear the event, is probably not the best time for me to be trying to calculate every possibility to come up with the perfect strategy. So again, a little bit of compromise here or there might be in order. Lava, I don't know. I'm still not convinced. I don't think that we were really... I don't know. I don't think that she's the best option for this. I do think that, um, I don't know. We'll try, we'll try again. We'll try again. Can't hesitate too much. But yes, Perfumer was definitely a suboptimal choice because I think that Let's you really go. just needed more, more single target healing. Here, doctor. There are still active targets in the area. All right. So, dog is a problem. Placing a defender on that tile was okay, but it didn't really help us that much, I don't think. I do think we're gonna try spot again. All right, then. Again, I'm not super big on spot as an option because I would rather have a higher damage unit there, but it is what it is. Okay, so, healing wings. I think what we might do instead is place Fuse like so. This way we can sort of have him dealing uh, damage to multiple enemies so they don't pile up quite as much. Yes, Fuse is getting a little bit shot right now, which is less than ideal, but we can fix that problem. So, Don't get yourself killed, dummy. we're going to have another, <clears throat> we're going to have the first of our de high defense enemies popping in here. That's it. Focus on the stay focused. These do stay focused. Yes, okay. So, place a cover. Use what are you waiting for? tactical chant immediately. Use... Yeah, healing wings. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Given that we don't need yeah <coughs> pardon. Given that we don't need uh Myrtle's healing so much right now, it could be better to switch her out for if you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Your, or to switch out healing wings for something else. Um Who could we place and where could we place them that would be applicable? <laughs> um That device is going to go down the next time Mateo shoots it. Okay, never mind. It's going to go down before that, actually. Hmm. So, we definitely need more damage still. Myrtle getting stunned is not the worst thing that could happen to us. Um, Chonka is an option. Um... I don't think that he's a great option, but he's an option. Um, I got this. Let's stun Mateo a little bit. All right, just easy, please. Thank you. Shield is tiring, pal. 
All right, we've stunned our enemies a little bit. Myrtle is currently attacking, which is probably about the worst thing that could happen to us. Um, yeah, okay, we've just not got this. Yeah, the team that we have now is just not very well set up for what we have or what, yeah, for how things are currently. The realities of the tactile situation. Um, Ayla, Ayla, Ayla. Ah, I just realized that, uh, yeah, the tactical situation is definitely not being uh, accounted for because we don't have any healing on Ayla. Yana, I don't know that this was a great place to put Yana there, but at least she's not going to be blocking, so that's going to be not a problem. Ayla's a little bit stunned, but uh, not the worst thing in the world. We don't have as many of these mines, which I definitely don't like. I don't need much healing from Perfumer, honestly. Um, hmm. if you want treatment, you okay, his bot is fine I as is. So Alright, we've got... Okay, we've got an advanced guard coming. Okay, okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. let's coming. make a risky maneuver and do something probably foolish. Yes, Aesthesia. I've not been using uh, Lava skill. Um, anyway. Blitz. Time for you to get hit very hard with a hammer. You survived, that's nice. Will you survive the next hit? No, you will not. Yama actually got stunned there, which was not a outcome that I had anticipated. Um, someone went down. Um, Estesia did. Okay. Stop. Hmm. Yama got stunned again, which is again, not ideal. Spot's got a lot of healing on him, um, and he's got the defense bonus, so he's probably going to do okay. Oh dear, Mateo's quite, uh, quite strong, isn't he? So, do we have it in? Myrtle? Okay, Myrtle has health. You did a great job, Myrtle. We're very proud of you. Um... Hmm. Hang in there, okay, coming. healing, healing, healing. Tiring, pal. That's it. This advance guard is like the worst thing in this mission right now. Um. So. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Move, okay, okay, okay. It's game over for you. The advance guard is going to go down before too long. Um, and it seems that the Mateo problem is disarmed somewhat with him being in melee range, at least, well, maybe not, maybe not, actually, considering how quickly he took down a defender. Um, he will get distracted a little bit by Iana, and that gives us time to deploy another healer. Oh, he's going to get distracted by Iana again. Nice. Okay. So, I think we're probably okay now. Granted, he is going to cause more problems for us, not before too long. Okay, so, we're not going to die, at the very least. Or if we do, if we do die, we're not going to die in the way that I was sort of expecting. Um, is there a way that we can like make the situation better, or do we just kind of have to live with what we've got? I guess we can put more damage down, but I'm worried about placing operators too soon because I don't know what Mateo is going to do once he gets uh, through his second phase. So for right now, all we may. Yeah, the only thing that... Yeah. 
it might be best to just sort of have yeah, to have Spot be where he is and do what he is doing. I suppose it might not be great to expend the Gersmont mine, but my logic there was that I didn't want to, like, half out on them. But you don't necessarily need to worry about that, because we were still one away from capping out anyway. Um, if we place Yana there, Mateo's not going to bother with her, so it's not relevant. Um, yeah, again, I don't want to place anyone anywhere else until I'm confident that they're going to, uh, be useful. We haven't really used any re- in fact, I don't think we've used any reinforcements at all, so I think maybe we could have used the mines. A tooth for a tooth. That will them down. Okay, okay. This is a nice touch, I think, how many Rainbow Six this. operators, their skills involve them switching to other weapons that they have. Um, we can probably remove Myrtle. Ooh, almost dozed off. Mm, actually, I don't know. Don't I kind of want her around just in case we get some more, we have the need for any more emergency healing. All right, fuse, DPS time, please. Lava, DPS time, please. Again, we kind of reached a state of equilibrium. So I can kind of calm down. We've got all the DP that we could ever want and more. Now's the time when I would want to use the mines so that I don't, you know, don't cap out on them. Um... But yeah, he's going to go down before too long. And our defenses have held. The only question is how the guards are going to treat us. Ooh, and it seems like uh, things are not going to treat us well one way or the other. Okay, so. Don't like anything that's happening anymore. Um. Healing. Uh oh. I suppose maybe I overreacted a bit to the hounds. Um. I don't like what that guy. I don't like that that guy is down there. I don't know what his deal is, and I'm not. I'm not eager to find out. Ah, he's gonna come up from behind us, isn't he? Not if I have anything to say about it. All right, we're losing in the mid ground a little bit, but we do have more I units. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. We can do a bit of stunning. We love stunning. Um, that's what Blitz is here for too. Do you think I have to like it? Don't get yourself All right, we just dummy. had some defenses go down. Ah, you're gonna blow us up with original explosives if you get the chance, aren't you? You don't want to do that, because you're going to blow up too. But that's kind of, you know, the event, isn't it, huh? Uh-oh. Why is... Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm, okay, so our entire defense just, uh, evaporated. Alright, so we have lost, I think. Okay. These guys are kind of not, uh, not doing much, huh? We might be able to bait them into exploding themselves with the mines. Or maybe we... Oh, I was going to say, maybe we don't need to. Uh, we probably do need to. Quickly! Okay, that didn't go as well as I had planned. My check successful. Okay, well... At least we know what the guards are like now. Uh, and what they're like is strong. Sit. Darn it. I'm not giving up yet. Oh well. 
So, that was something, huh? So, Mateo's most trusted bodyguard. Very few military leaders have such individuals around them, but they often, often fail to appreciate how precious such loyalty really is. Okay, so they can give Mateo his ammo back, so that explains part of the issue. Ah, he was also stunning. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we need to stop that bodyguard. Stop those bodyguards. So how we're going to do that remains to be seen. I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to discard foolish notions such as pride and just kind of go for it. Because I do want this to work. Picked up a few new trees. time for holding back has ended. This does feel a little bit this like uh, admitting easier. defeat, but I do want to win, so I will gladly, gladly admit defeat. No problem. I'll find some time to watch them. And Iana. I like the idea of Team Rainbow being sort of our pinch hitters anyway. Uh, have you considered holographic recordings? So, that's what we have for our units. Everything was going pretty well there. The problem is, yeah, once the situation developed, let's say, everything started to fall apart. Lava did alright, but I don't think she can carry this on her own. So I think we need more arch damage. I think Esthesia didn't really contribute as much as I would like. So we need another source of arch damage to supplement her, or to supplement uh, the loss of her. We could, uh, I don't know, what other, what other flash casters do I have? Um, yeah, Ifrit who is not a splash caster, but, you know, exists. Um, you are not. You are not. Um, you are not. We don't have a lot of those, do we, huh? Hmm. All right, we got at least one. Um, we got at least two. Okay. Um, very troubling, all of this. Well, okay. Congratulations, Gray. You are about to be deployed into the worst battlefield you have ever experienced. Could you pause it for a minute? I'm, uh, I'm taking notes. A promotion? Okay, I'll take it to... Huh? It... For me? Really? Congratulations. I'm, and I'm sorry, also. Uh, could, could you pause it for a minute? I'm, hmm. uh, I'm taking notes. Lowe's. Lowe's is nice. Um, I don't think slow is really relevant to our current tactical situation, though. Um, anyway. I forgot to put him on the team. <laughs> All right, great. Congratulations. Everyone, I'm here to help. Please do help, because we need it. My goodness. All right, so Bray can get an attack speed buff just the same as Lava can. I think Lava is a little bit cheaper. Indeed, she is. Um, not significantly, but definitely is. Um, yeah, honestly, most of that was fine. The enemies, or the, yeah, the bodyguards have fairly high resistance, so we want to keep some melee units in reserve to deal with them. I don't know what I'm going to do about them, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't have a great answer. Let's see, Yana, Ayla, uh... Oh, I meant to switch out for Esthesia, didn't I? Well, she can stay for now, I suppose. Myrtle's okay. Everyone else is doing okay. 
We've got mostly pretty good units now. A few weak links, but anyway, lock reinforcement device. We could have used that, I guess, to deal with one of the enemies, but I don't know that would have really helped us that much. I think the mine deployer might be better. Temporary cover is absolutely, absolutely something to use, though. Because, yeah, we need damage. All right, ladies. Let's keep it cool. Oh. Oh? So. Hard. I'm tripping over my words. Okay. And spot. On the ground. Yeah, yeah. So, I think the mind device could be a decent choice. Mm -hmm. We're on you again today, Might not be a great choice, but it's definitely a choice. Don't move. Oh. Is it being blocked by the rock? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that is hilariously bad. Okay, let's stop. Not even going to, not even going to entertain the notion of continuing that. So, let's try this again. I don't think barricades block them. What kind of battle will it end up being? I wonder. I suppose... no. Though I guess I was going to say we could... yeah, okay. The temporary cover does not need to be placed literally in between the enemy and the units it's supposed to be protecting. We know that right, much. That. Yeah, that was something that I had observed, but not something that I had mentioned. Um, okay. Is this going to work? I really hope this is going to work. We're counting on you again today, little apple. Hmm. Alright, fuse can start being deployed soon. Okay, yes, that works. Remain silent. So, the stuns, the DPS, it's all going to benefit us tremendously. And what else is also going to benefit us tremendously is healing. We don't need it right away, but we're going to need it before I before I know it. So, Ayla. I don't like the idea of Ayla getting shot, but it is what it is. Um, we do need for humor before too long. Um, it's fine. Okay, this is less than fine. Okay. Cover device. Honestly, not deploying it immediately is probably pretty good. Or at least it's... I don't know. It's not good, necessarily, but it's something. Valuable is perhaps the word to use. Alright. Lava. Hmm. I'm seeing this defense rune here. I'm inclined to believe that maybe we should use it, but I don't know when would be a good time. Alright, Ray, we need more damage. I'm a little bit worried about Ray getting exploded rapidly, but... Oh, oh, oh okay, that's great. Got exploded, so. Yeah, that's about what I had expected. Um, I suppose maybe I should have placed a cover device. Come on, get it together. I'm a little bit worried about needing them more for Mateo. Let's go. But it is what it is. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. Actually, does it... Hold on. From surrounding enemies. Hmm. 
So it might not be, because I noticed, yeah, there were shots going through. Hang in there, I'm coming. And I was thinking that, Do you think yeah, I'm it was just that the, the, the thing was just placed awkwardly or wrongly or something. But I think the actual issue is that, yeah, Mama, they are, the enemies aren't close enough to the device for it to activate properly. Fortunately, though, Mateo uh, killed, is not Johnny. that big of a deal once we're... Yeah, he doesn't do that much damage to melee units anyway, is the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so, Myrtle, you're our good friend and we love you dearly, but we are going to have you get uh, attacked. We might not actually have you get attacked, but I did put you in at a bad time, I think. We lost our medic on the top side because I wasn't paying attention, and Myrtle has failed to uh, fulfill her duty, but that's on me. Fuse is going to go down, and yeah, we have failed. Alright, this guy is not a big issue anymore. He is an issue, for sure. No, no joke. But he's not as big of a problem. He's probably manageable. This might honestly be something of a boon for us. I mean, it's definitely not great that most of our medics are gone, but hurry up! Even the dead can't save you. If anyone needs to sneeze, do it now. Hmm. All right, that's good. That's good. So, yes. We can slow down their DPS, but I don't want to use up fuse charges if I'm not in a situation where I desperately need needs them. To sneeze, but we're about to need them like a lot. So Okay. So it might be yeah, I was gonna say it might be best to just retreat uh for humor early. We didn't get that luxury, but we do have a medic back. So, where else can we place this device that would be even remotely useful? Oh dear. Well, again, if we can keep up the defenses, and that's a big hit, but if we can keep up the defenses, that could be for the best. Mateo's about to get stunned, which is going to be interesting, but I don't know what uh, benefit that is for us, if any. I'm inclined to think not. Hmm. Very interesting situation this is. So stunning him in the middle of his attack animation doesn't do anything. At least it doesn't do anything good. Um, I think Fuse can... Well, no, not, yeah, not Fuse. Fuse isn't anywhere, anywhere. Um, I think we're going to want to deploy in a slightly different way going forward. But anyway, between the two medics, I do think that uh, Blitz can probably survive indefinitely. With, this, with the medics and the stuns and all that, he can probably survive indefinitely. Which gives us time to kind of think about how we want to do the next phase of our plan. So, we're going to get some enemies coming from the top. But the big problem is when we get enemies coming from the bottom. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. So, I'm thinking something like this could be good. I don't know if Spot here would be good. I'm not confident in really much of what's going on at all, but if you want treat, Mickey, gotta come closer. we've only got so many options. So yes. That's so. With me. Let fragrance revive your mind. I don't think that Blitz can die in this situation. I think we're good to go indefinitely. I'm worried about putting Fuse where Mateo is. 
I do want to place fuse like here so we can have more damage on the tail and on his guards once they arrive. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm thinking something like this would probably be okay. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Ooh, boy. All very worrisome. What are you waiting for? Even the dead can't oh, see. How does uh 35 skill? Yeah, okay, so that's not really that benefits us once, but not again. Um Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Hmm. <laughs> Is, Where where's Gabriel healing? She's healing downwards, which is actually suboptimal. Healing to the side would have been better. Um, don't get yeah, again, killed, I don't Johnny. think that... I do not believe, given circumstances, that Blitz can die. So we still don't need to worry about that. He probably will be at risk of death in the near future, but he can't die now. I was probably Doesn't too quick to, to place spot, Hang honestly. Because now he's going to block enemies from getting through Pachanka, I think. But the moment of truth is coming up, so. <clears throat> yeah. I don't want to waste any more like limited use abilities while Mateo is still here because again he is kind of not a problem when he's in melee. Okay, back up. Do you think I have surprise? Done. Didn't really do anything again. We've already established that. Um with me. Yes. Okay. I just lost Gabiel, which I probably should have seen coming honestly. Um ha, I could have placed a cover device. Oh well. Say. What are you waiting for? Even the all right, all right, all right. You. Doesn't matter to me. Spot is definitely not in a good spot. I'm not a not a big fan of this guy here. Um, this bodyguard. I definitely don't want any more bodyguards coming if I can avoid it. Though, again, there's not really much I can do myself. Um, Aesthesia will yes. not be getting healed, so this was kind of a pointless gesture. Oh, Alright. So we might have wanted to refocus into a plan... Yeah, more focused on our units down below. Um, yes. Yes. Because, yeah. Blitz can definitely die now. He is no longer immortal. Um, Ready to heal. And we have not seen a better demonstration of that than what has just occurred. Um... I don't know. Oh, the mines aren't going off because Come of the on, smoke. Okay. So. He's going to get stunned. And that's going to be interesting for us. Um, and we stall. Okay. I don't think we can stall. At least not for as long as I would need to. I'm here to help. Okay. No. Um. Yeah, didn't stun Mateo since... Yeah, okay, okay. So the smoke's real bad. <laughs> Not sure what these fellows think they're doing, but uh, I don't appreciate it one way or the other. I don't think you can Let's do it, begin. to be honest. Um, 
I think we confused the AI maybe a little bit. Though again, we did see them not do things for a long time before. Okay, they're moving again. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, fine. Diana. Go for me. Or Fima. Let's. Uh, oh dear. Um, I should have retrieved Gabiel a long time ago. Um. Let's. Let's go. Yeah, I think those those explosives needed to be used in some sort of strategic way, uh, whereas they weren't used in any sort of strategic way previously. Um, yeah, um, not sure what to do here. Oops. Please, re please retreat. Thank you. Try to keep up. The mines were definitely a good choice. Um, what could we have done to stall? Because yes, the bodyguards were the biggest issue there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think the addition of Grey really helped us much. Sadly. Um, alright. So, we're going to once again do the thing that I said that I wasn't going to do. Um, and switch out for Ifrit. Yeah, yeah, I heard ya. Ifrit, use, um, I don't know, most of my strategy was pretty sound. Most of, most of the things went pretty well. Lava, I think I am going to switch out for Beeswax. But yeah, a lot of the problems we ran into could be solved by me being a little bit more attentive, so that's definitely on me. Of course, a big issue is the fact that we just don't get all that many devices. Oops. Um, yeah, I don't... I'm a little bit... There's a defense rune here, so that implies to me that we're probably supposed to use it. You know, hence its presence. The only question is, what for? I guess we could use it to sort of early stall Mateo, and also to potentially reduce the amount of enemies coming down, coming from, yeah, yeah, we reduce the number of enemies. Um, we're gonna get kind of experimental here, and I'm going to try my best. And we're going to see what happens, and I'm not going to be too upset if we lose. So, the cover device needs to be placed early, I think. Use also needs to be placed early. Doesn't matter to me. Yes. Perfumer is in danger of getting shot a little bit. Yes. He's in danger of getting shot a lot, actually. Um, but, Astesia is doing her job very admirably. Ah, actually, if we place that there, then we lose out on, like, the perfect different line. Um, yeah, and that's sort of the whole reason I deploy different, so... Uh, anyway... <laughs> Definitely suboptimal this, but something. No, I don't think that. I don't think that, that doesn't give us a great line. I don't think it would be much value to us. Obviously, we can't do that. We've already established that. Um. Yeah, I think different and the mine together may have been the wrong play. Ready for action. Remember our main alert. So. Too slow. Take all you want. Nobody cares. 
<laughs> now, Astesia is, is performing pretty admirably. He might not once you get shot, um, which is definitely a problem, but everyone else is also doing very good. But yes, Ifrit is performing her role very well also. That cover is gone. We need a new one. Um, oh, almost does that. Hmm. I don't like this fellow here. Um, I'm very glad that our, yeah, our uh, left side is holding very well. Steezy's about to get stunned, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, Ifrit is now exposed and is probably going to die soon. Myrtle has died. Um, <laughs> ah, too late. Um, oh well. Doesn't matter to me. Good to spots healing as well. Ah, but yeah, no, she would have been out of range. It wouldn't have mattered. Um. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. So yes, Astesia has been doing okay, but she didn't quite fulfill her purpose. Yes. So, we got the enemy stalled, and I, oops, no, Yana, 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 um, yeah, okay, I, I don't know what I was thinking, I should have deployed Gaviel a long time ago, um, okay, well, yeah, we lost, so it doesn't matter, um, okay. It's too bad we didn't win, but it is I too won't bad. let it discourage me. Yeah, Ifrit and the Mines are definitely a, not a great combo. Um, I think the Mines did more than Ifrit did. So, we'll swap Ifrit back out. Who to swap in, though? Eh, probably Steward. Um, just to deal with higher priority targets. Astesia did well. She didn't do well enough, but she did do well. <laughs> um... Having more block could have been useful there, honestly. So Astral Sword might not be a bad choice. Granted, it's not that strong, and we but we could make it stronger here. Whoops. Nope. No potential. So. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm still very worried about this whole situation, but I am glad that the left-hand side is pretty capable of holding their own. I think I do need to remove Myrtle sooner, though. Um, as for other changes, it might be better... whoops, no. It might be better to use Gummy instead of, uh, instead of Spock. Because Gummy is able to perform basically the same, but she is also able to uh, stun occasionally. You can provide a, a little bit more, yeah, pardon, a little bit more consistent healing if we need it. But the burst healing is really what we want. Um, yeah, I think cooking is what we want. Ready to go. The Chanka hasn't really had an opportunity to shine yet, especially because I got a little bit silly with it on that one guy. Um, yeah, and I just didn't. I placed Spot in a wrong place at a wrong time. Um, other than that, though, I'm feeling pretty optimistic, I think. Yeah, the Astesia strat I think also worked pretty well. There's no turning back now. Good scenery here, Doctor. Coming. But yes, I think Gummy is slightly, in fact, probably significantly more expensive than uh, Spot. Now that I think about it, but I guess um, I don't think so actually, because she did come online at roughly the same time. 
I didn't see the timing of cooking versus Spot's healing ability. Yeah, Spot might be a little bit better for just pure healing, but that's not, you know, the only thing we need him for. But yes, Estes, yeah. Yes, Estesia might not need as much support as I was thinking she would. You'll probably still need support, like, don't don't get me wrong there. But, honestly, it is possible that passive healing might carry her through this. Hmm. I think we're gonna want healing on Fuse. Um, I don't know that we want healing on Myrtle, or at least I don't know if we care about it that much. Yes, Fiona here is a decent choice because she can distract enemies from uh, her humor while also dealing a little bit of damage herself. Yeah, basically what I'm thinking is that the perfumer passive healing might be enough to keep uh, yes. Asthesia safe, but we are going Ready to definitely for. need... Uh, we are definitely going to need to use her ability very actively if we want that to be true. But yes, Mateo is going to take a shot here. Gummy. Yeah, Gummy, we maybe should have activated that skill sooner because she's not going to start cooking in time for Myrtle to be healed once she gets shot. Oh no, never mind. Well, it doesn't matter because she didn't, <laughs> did not heal fast enough to deal with that. Oh well. So, mines. Yes, Yana's in a bit of a way, but it's not the worst way she could be in. Hmm. I am a little bit worried about Asthesia now, though. Um, okay, we need more damage on the ground, I think. Um, more damage and more blocking. Come on, chill. I was going to say maybe putting Asthesia on that specific tile wasn't necessary, but it, I do think it was necessary to put her, like, somewhere where, yeah, the defensive tile was necessary, I think, is basically the point I'm trying to make. Um, Dummy's stuns are good and powerful, and I appreciate them very much. Um, but we are still lacking damage. Ah, right, because I forgot to deploy, uh... These last. But yes, so. The Chonka. Gami. We're going to have enemies getting past us if we don't do something immediately. Oh dear, did, you, did Chonka just go down? I mean, he's not there, so, uh, presumably, yes. Okay. These last. Obliterated. Alright, so, I got a little bit silly with it, and I didn't put more temporary cover when I almost certainly should have. Um, Beeswax being stunned is terrible, but it's not the worst thing in the entire history of mankind. Mateo is a problem, so I should have been more aggressive with temporary cover. I maybe should have been more aggressive with temporary cover on Beeswax also, but, you know. Lessons learned. Ah, right, I forgot about this guy. Alright, I really hope that he destroys Myrtle. Okay, there we go. Do you think I have time to use the bottle? So, quick stun. Hmm. Okay, so he did his uh, big hammer move again, which is weird because I thought he'd already used it. Um focus on the desk at hand. With me. Increase range, please. Hmm. Interesting. Um, Do you think I, have I don't know why I did that. <laughs> that was strictly unnecessary. Um, you should leave. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm. I wonder if he can go invisible again while he's uh, stunned. Yes, he can. That's unfortunate. Yana? Well, um, that was something. What's Yana's defense like on this? Hi. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of this, honestly. Ready to heal. <laughs> so, we already saw Blitz on a non-defense tile. Gave us pretty good defense, like, results. So, if we can keep this up for a little bit longer, we might just be able to win the day. I do think we need to get Iana out of here like yesterday. Um, stun downwards might be better. I don't like that ranged attack out of you. I didn't expect that sort of behavior from you, Mateo. Somewhat uh, kind of rude, honestly. Um, so this is Come on, get it together. Yes, anyway, Blitz is fine. This is going to take a lot longer, given that Blitz is basically on his own here, but it will work eventually. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. I was going to say we could place a mine here, but I think it's going to get blocked, and even if it did, it wouldn't help us very much. Even if it didn't, it wouldn't help us very much. So, I don't know if the mine is the play, but I don't know that reinforcing any of these barricades really helps us much either. It's a troubling situation. Okay, well, one way or another, we've got our units back and we can start thinking about things. So I don't think we're going to want Blitz to be basically anywhere else. Mateo, if we, if the pattern holds, Mateo is just going to be there, which is not going to be great for us, but it could be worse. The Chanka is the Chanka. Um, we could put him here, I suppose. Again, wait for the guard that, this time, then deploy Gummy. Yes. These wax I think is very valuable up here. If you want treatment, you gotta come closer. I think even even a non-defender unit could probably hold their own against Mateo here for a while. But I don't know that we have any units who have enough defense that they can really survive that long. Mostly I just want to switch out Blitz so that we can have him, like, yes. out of there, like, ready to be redeployed faster. Uh-oh. Alright, so we have lost our medic, and so we may have lost the mission. Um, yeah, we've lost. Um, okay. I don't know... Don't well, I guess he was in line. Um, I was going to say, I don't know how he managed to attack... Uh, uh, yeah, okay. We'll, re we'll retry. I was going to say, I don't know how he managed to attack Perfumer, but he did... He was where he could have been to do that. It wasn't terribly unreasonable. Okay. So. We need some healing anesthesia. Like, we need direct healing anesthesia. We can't cannot abide by her not receiving any healing. The more levels on her could be good, but I do want to use her in non-emergency situations, so I'm reluctant to do that. Use performed admirably, if not, um, maybe didn't do everything that we needed from him. He did very well, though. 
Um, Asthesia did her job fine. Again, she just didn't have the healing to really back it up. Placing our units further forward could have been a good option. In fact, yeah, that might actually be the play, now that I think about it. Because if we're not going to have as much issue with the... Uh... Okay, if, yeah. Anyway, if we're not going to have as much issue with the enemies, like the defenders, advanced whatever, coming up that way, placing our units more forward could be to our benefit. Um, I need to deploy sooner rather than later. Okay, Chanko. I don't know that the Chanko was the choice, actually, but... We're gonna live with it because it's the choice that I had made. Chanka is a hero though, so. For humor. But yes. We'll not be able to heal many of our units, but she'll be able to heal some of our units. I could have placed a Chanka a little bit farther forward, and that could have been good. But I didn't, and so we simply must live with the knowledge of what I have done. These wax. So we can cover basically anywhere with these wax here specifically. Um Oh yes. Let's wait until we've got like more problems before we do that. Yes. Getting more uses out of healing wings faster is good. Anesthesia doing more damage is good. But yes, beeswax exploding people is good. Myrtle! I'm not sure how Myrtle's going to stand up to getting shot a whole lot, so maybe we should do something about that. Um... Let's get some defense off of you. I very much don't like defense on you. Mateo is going to continue to be a nuisance. Mm, okay, we need more healing. Um, facing the healing forward would have been the best choice. Uh, yeah, okay. So, the Chanka is going to go down. Unless... Uh oh. Um, okay. The Chanka has failed us, unfortunately. Or perhaps we should... It would be more accurate to say that we have failed him. Um, uh, no. Uh, yeah, we've lost. Okay. Move! Right now! Okay. The Chanka might not have been the choice. Yeah, again, the Gaviol blunder. The Myrtle blunder. Um, Myrtle was fine, actually. I don't, I didn't do that poorly on placing her. Um, All right, ladies, let's keep it cool. You might want something a little bit more temporary in front of Myrtle. Oh, and we forgot the mines again. This is a bad choice. <laughs> But it's the choice I made, so it's the choice I'm going to live with. Okay, no, actually, this was a good choice. This was the best choice. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We need to do something. So, think, think, think. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Thank you for the encouragement. Pachanka. I will not fail you this time. All right, we do have to get serious now. If Myrtle's doing it, we can too. I believe in her, and she believes in me. Okay, so Astesia can live with a whole bunch of pain. She can endure very much. So, this is good, because we can place her humor like this and heal multiple of our units at once. But yes, Tachanka is doing good. Of course he is. He is Tachanka. 
and we've stunned enemies within Tachanka's range, so that's nice. But yeah, Bees Whack is a... is just good. She's just very good. We don't need to worry about her basically at all. Um... The issue now is where do we place our other units? I think we want Blitz more forward. I don't know if Mateo is as much of a problem with our high number of melee units. Or I don't think he's as big of a problem against melee units. Let's see how Myrtle... Oh, Myrtle... Myrtle... Myrtle's fine. She's great. Myrtle's doing good. She's having the best time of her life. Yes, we are going to want cover before too long, but we don't need it that desperately. Yes. So, that is all very, very good. Beeswax is obliterating our enemies as we desire, and I am deeply, deeply proud of her for her efforts. I do think we're going to want a cover device before too long, so might as well place one now. Let's get time to get um, Blitz is doing fine. Beeswax is about to power up again. So. If anyone needs to sneeze, do it now. Okay, there we go. Beeswax. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can block this, especially with the mines. Stesia getting stunned is not great, but it's not terrible either. Okay, okay, okay. So, stunning enemies would be good. Alright, Mateo's a little bit of an issue here, but he's not like a huge yes. issue here. Oh, yes. The Chanka. Alright, we need to do something about that fellow with the hammer. Because if we don't, he will do everything about us. Oh dear. So yes. So I have failed the Chanka this time. Yes. I let the device run out because I wasn't... I was thinking Mateo wouldn't be that much of a threat, but we've seen him before, so that was a foolish notion of me. Um, okay. So, let's place the cover device before things get out of hand. We are out of good options to support Blitz. Um, more healing, I guess? Actually, I, well, yeah. More healing is very good. Um... So yes. So I think Blitz can withstand what's going to happen. We are. We do have it together. I hope. Um, Yana's doing okay. Mateo's coming, which is not great. Um, all right. I think it's time to move Myrtle. Oh. Okay. Actually. Hold on. I'm liking what I'm seeing, because Astesia is very strong and very cool, and we love her a lot. Okay, so, we have uh, eliminated the threat of Mateo, actually. He is a non-issue, we have discovered. Okay, maybe he's not a non-issue, actually. Mm, he's a big issue. He's a very, he's a very big problem. Okay. But, you can be made into less of a problem by deploying a defensive unit. Yana is not applicable here anymore, so we should retreat her. Blitz is not applicable here anymore, so we should not retreat. Well, yes, we should retreat him. Because um, the problem is, Mateo looks like he's going to grind through our defenses here before too long. This was maybe not the best choice. Um, 
But we've seen Blitz survive worse before. So actually, I think we're fine. <clears throat> I think we're going to want to place a mine about here. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Okay. So the dummy got himself killed, unfortunately. Um, and now we don't have a defender to back us up. Um, the humor's in a bad way. And we hold out until... I don't think so. We can't hold out until anyone gets to deployed. This is going to be an interesting experience. Okay, so. These wax can, in fact, act as something of a defense for us. And Mateo is able to break down that barricade. I was kind of wondering if he would. Um, we've definitely put him in a bad situation. I'm realizing now that the reason that Blitz was able to... What on earth? Oh. The mine for the Originian explosives. He actually lost a lot of health from that. I guess maybe I should have expected that, but I did. So, That's so, hmm. Ready to fight. so, okay. He took a lot less damage. Oh wait, no, he didn't take that much damage from that. I. For some reason, I had thought that Mateo just hadn't taken damage before. Okay, anyway. So the Originium Explosives didn't really help us very much. Um, and maybe are more of a threat than an asset. Hmm. So they're going to get rid of Gaviel, so let's get rid of Gaviel before they can. Oh, wait, no. I think that would have... Uh, um, I don't know. What are his What are his goons gonna do? Um, quickly. Can we? No, we don't have any medics coming up soon. This is gonna be very bad. Um, Blitz can deal with a lot, but I don't know that he can deal with that much. Myrtle definitely can't. Um, hmm. Very interesting situation, this. Um, for humor, please. Um, okay, we can stop their explosives. So we might be able to win this mission. Um, Hmm. Oh no. Okay, that guy is going to be a problem for us. So maybe we can't. Um. Unless. Unless. We can pull off just an absolute miracle. Okay. So. Let's can handle this. Blitz is very tough and very strong. Gummy can stun, and she's getting stunned back up from the, the thing. But I think we've actually won. <laughs> uh, once again, a like clean victory has eluded us. But a victory is a victory. See us. So Astesia didn't quite have what it took to stand up to Mateo. What is her defense compared to, say, Gummy? <clears throat> I guess, yeah. Even... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't remember how the defense runes work. I was thinking that they were a flat defense increase, but now that I think about it, they're probably not. There's probably some element of... Uh, yeah, some element of... I don't know. They're probably multiplicative, is what I mean to say. Because, uh... That's a lot of defense on Blitz. So yeah, so we have one. Despite everything. And hey, 
you know, for the last mission in an event, when we don't have any Elite 2 units, I can't complain too much. A victory is a victory, even if it's a bit of an anti-climax. The defense runes are a flat increase. Okay, right. Okay. So, what the, what does Estesia have for defense once she's on? Trying to prove myself. 600. I guess, yeah, 600... A 200 point difference is a pretty significant one. Again, we maybe could have done this. We maybe could have pulled off the stall strat if Estesia was a higher level. But... I'll take what I can get. Problem is Mateo's debuff. I didn't know that he had a debuff. All right. Well. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick before we continue. Uh, the fact that that he has a debuff that I should have been doing something about is uh a big is interesting. <laughs> Anyway, I will return shortly. Alright, I have returned. Ooh boy. <laughs> that was quite something, wasn't it? Man, oh man. <laughs> anyway, so, let's get on with that there, that there story. <laughs> Well done. Well done. But now what? All this accomplished. Now all of us are doomed to die here together. Ayla ignores the man who lies collapsed on the ground and howls like a beast in the throes of death as she swiftly walks over to the edge of the balcony. We're going to bend the rules a bit for this next part. I'll grab one of the hostages and repel through the windows below. And I need a volunteer from us to do the same. Well, shoot. Forgot to bring the stuff with us when we left Rhodes Island. Seriously? Calm down, I was just cracking a joke. But there's a better way. What better way? Put this on. It's a multifunctional jet guy fighting backpack that we had closure make for us back at Rhodes Island. Looks like one of those life vests best you can get on airplanes. That was the inspiration for its design, but as for what it does, thanks to closure, it not only expands into a glider, for instance, but also has jetpack functionality for landing. And you're sure this thing works? How else would we have been able to get inside the building from the sixth floor? In any case, put it on, give the handle on the bottom a good pull, leave the top one alone, and it'll get you safely to the ground. This one's yours, Ayla. Thanks for the help. Mr. Diaz, this one's for you. The old firefighter knife neatly straps the backpack on himself. And as for Mr. Raynell here, Blitz shoots Ella a questioning glance, but Ella simply shrugs her shoulders. I promised someone that I'd save this guy's life if I had the chance. Then this one's for you. Raynell catches the backpack but simply stares at it without putting it on. Sir, I think you should put it on quickly. I like jokes as much as the next guy, but it's best not to joke around too much with your life on the line. Perfect. I recall that Ayla over there said not too long ago that she couldn't protect a man who plays jokes with his life. Back then, I said that she had the wrong idea since I still had work to do. But now, my work is all finished, so... Does it really matter if I joke around with my life? Just put the thing on and stop being an idiot. Raynell shrugs as well before they're putting the backpack on. Follow my lead. Everyone who hasn't used one before, pay close attention. Raynell retreats two steps, watching Blitz plummet from the edge of the balcony, wobbling around in midair as he flutters his way down. Next up is Diaz. The tall man with the accent somewhat similar to Fuse's pats him on the shoulder before helping him pull the handle. The people on the balcony leave one by one until only Raynell and Ella remain. Raynell still seems to be hesitant, 
So Ayla activates both of their jetpacks before pulling Raynell to leap off the balcony. Wait, Raynell, what are you doing? As I said, what's wrong with joking around with my life? Raynell takes off the backpack and goes into free fall. Ayla's shout resounds in his ears, and she seems to grab onto his leg for a moment, but gravity quickly pulls him into its embrace. Raynell does not know whether it is the swimming pool or cold concrete that will greet him at the end of his trip, but this time he has no safety rope or backpack. He tries to taste the difference between oops, between his weightlessness in, his, in this moment and bungee jumping, whether or not he is trembling and whether this trembling is commensurate with the, dimension, the destruction he has wrought. But before he can form any conclusions, he feels a round object squeeze its way into his hand, followed by a blunt pain in his back. Forced to open his eyes against the strong wind, Raynell vaguely catches a flash of Originium arcs, simultaneously feeling a number of small, hard balls pressed against his body in a struggle against gravity. Golf balls? He does not know if he was suddenly gripped by an urge to survive, or if the golf balls are exacting one last insult upon him. But whatever the case, Raynell accepts it. The golf ball in his hand emits a similar light drawing an increasing number of other golf balls in the vicinity towards his back like magnets, slowing his fall. <clears throat> Raynell, after plunging into the swimming pool, bobs up and down a few times in the water before finally floating to the surface. More precisely, a mat of densely packed golf balls is floating atop the water's surface, with Raynell lay lying on his back atop it. He stands up steadily from the floating golf ball mat, even hopping back onto dry land in a single step. Milos? Milos, where are you? I know you're here. Ayla, where's Milos? No idea. Haven't heard from him. Stand still. Where do you think you're going? I need to find Milos. I need to get to the bottom of this. You think you can just walk away? What are you going to do, arrest me? Nobody here has that authority, but you should at least give an explanation to the people swept up in this situation. Swept up? I never intended for any of you people to be swept up in the first place. This was meant to be an artwork of destruction, harming nobody but the investors who deserve it. Mateo, drunk off his ambitions, and Diaz, who can't mind his own business... Oh, and of course you, your people, were responsible for bringing us step by step to the situation we are now in. What does that make you, then? An honorable rebel? An artist? Why, both, of course. I'll give it to you. You certainly are a rebel, but there's not an honorable cell in your body. You're rot to the core. What was that stunt you pulled on the balcony? Throwing away your only shot at being rescued was your idea of rebelling? What do you think that, that death is? A way to show how world-weary you are? Is it cool to tiptoe around the brink of death? Making me, Milos, and all the other people who still care whether you live or die worry? Is that your idea of rebellion? You're grasping at straws just to give yourself a way to rent your frustrations. Sure, of course you disagree. You think it's all a bit of good, dumb fun that doesn't matter in the end, and wasting other people's investment money was your real form of rebellion. Ah, yes. Won't well, someone think of the investor's money? You must have a fantastic solution that doesn't involve anyone getting hurt. Don't you know? Nobody will see your explosions as any lamentation of art. All they'll see is a... Nobody will see your explosions as any lamentation of art. All they'll see is a raving lunatic. You've got your father's inheritance money. You've got dozens of ways to express yourself, to satirize, to rebel. But you've chosen the laziest option, the one least likely to ever reach any hearts. That's simply their inability to understand. What's the point of your so-called art and rebellion if no one can understand it? You hate your father, sure, but you actually, have you actually thought how through how to really rebel against him? Or are empty gestures of rebellion enough for you? Ha! Who even cares at this point? Probably only you. You're awful. As if that's news to you? Oh no. I always knew you were. An awful jerk, through and through. You're allowed to care about nothing, that, that's your prerogative, but Milos cares. 
You went so far as to tell me what happened to your mother, just to get me to help you. Milos? You told me that your mother was a true artist, and that you used to take after her when you were younger. Used to? What else? Do you think you resemble her in the slightest now? A man who loves art would destroy the works of countless masters just to show how much of a rebel he is? Art can be for truth, for good, for beauty, for fighting evil, or just for art's sake. Doesn't matter, it means something different to everyone. But if making your so-called art meant means burning everyone else's work, and maybe even their lives, isn't that just pure evil? A round of explosions, a landscape of wreckage, a lump of car chaos? Is that what the art you say you're de dedicating to everyone? Ask yourself, what would your mother have thought of all this? Would she be proud of what you've done? Seriously, right now. Grow up already. Kayla throws a punch that lands squarely in Raynell's face. Raynell's whole body wobbles and he falls straight back into the swimming pool. Kayla steps away from the side of the pool, but Raynell still feels the gaze of another pair of eyes. A blurry figure seems to be standing on the other side of the pool, looking at him from afar. He cannot discern if the look on that man's face is one of concern or sadness. The morning sun is dazzling, and he can't see clearly, but he feels with certainty that the gaze resembles his mother's. He turns his eyes towards the sky, no longer looking at that figure. The man lingers for a moment before leaving quietly, wearing a sorrowful expression. Perhaps he never would be the son who makes his mother proud. Perhaps that man would not be willing to remain at his side. In the end, he is still alone. When he thinks on this, all the paranoia and grievance that had tormented him all this time suddenly seem insignificant. He left in the end, in this moment. He, eh, that is a, eh. He left in the end. In this moment, that is the only thought on Raynell's mind. Everything inside taken care of? Yes. The Dussel's police sure took their sweet time, but they rushed over very quickly the moment they heard the danger had passed. Especially when they say, just leave the rest to us. It really makes them seem like the most reliable force in the world. Ah. What about the block stairwell? Did they clean that up too? They have some people who specialize in Norwegianium arts for that purpose. Feels a bit like cheating. <laughs> You'll get used to it soon enough. I'm curious, though. How did you come to show up at that exact time, precisely on the floor above the blockage point? The timing was pure coincidence. As for why we managed to thread the needle location-wise, Tequila sent a message to the mayor at the same time he reached out to us. When we arrived at the mayor's office, she was already observing the scene live from multiple angles, both inside and out. Wait, she's had her eyes on the inside among the hostages? More or less. You told us a frontal assault wouldn't work, then generously gave the green light to jump in from the soul's tallest building. In fact, we wanted to jump drop right on, in right on the balcony to give that captain a good scare, but didn't have the altitude to make it. Gotta work with what you have. The assembled crew turns to look at the balcony on the top floor of the art gallery. The fires have already been extinguished, and all that remains visible is the captain's limp arm dangling precariously in the air. Looks like the guy's luck ran out. Before Doc can finish speaking, the arms suddenly spring to life, fingers curling as they claw at the air, seemingly being dragged away by something. I take it back. He didn't uh, fall off the edge, didn't die in the conflagration, and even managed to get saved by the police in the end. That guy's got the devil's luck. Ayla, the Dussels PD wants you to take Raynell over. I think they want to give you a special thank you letter and put you on TV or something. I have to be seen on TV with Raynell? Forget it. Yeah, that's what Ernesto said too. He also said, don't get too cozy with the government here unless you plan on settling down in Dussels. If you catch Miss Candela's eye, things are only going to get extra tricky for you. Well, have them take Raynell away for themselves. That works. They don't seem like they have much else on their hands right now, anyway. Alright, let's head out and take a look around. This city might be all about the glitz and glamour, but it's not without its flashes of real brilliance.
<clears throat> Sit. Not bad. When you stop by Rhodes Island to resupply, we'll show you around. Speaking of Rhodes Island, Doc, oh, when you visit, I'll need you to put on a few extra pieces of clothing, plus a hood. Then, I'll take you to HR to ask for a bigger budget for our team, and you just nod along with whatever I say. Act natural, especially when I call you by your name. Huh? The people who had arrived on Terra previously, as well as Catapult, were stunned for a few minutes before all breaking out in laughter. See, there's this uh, Rhodes Islander who... Come on now, Cohen, what's the... What's the fun in spilling the beans this early? He smiles wryly. Fair enough. In any case, it's great seeing all of you again. Sure. It really makes me realize just how long it's been. The sky is clear, and a gentle breeze blows in from the artificial sea. Though the draft is hot and humid, it's also somehow quite refreshing. A warm, friendly din comes from the Galleria Crostawa behind her. Where am I? You're finally awake! What are you doing in my house? Oh, wait, this isn't my house, it's... Uh, give me a hand! We need to evacuate everyone! There are bombs in the building! You've been out cold this entire time. Both the Capitan and Raynell have been arrested. The bombs have been defused, and it's time to celebrate. Huh? Other days, locals have already have also begun sitting up, one by one, looking around in confusion. The exhibition hall has become a lively carnival for artists. Most conspicuous of all is the center of the hall, now converted into a dance floor where, where people are romping and reveling. And all around the dance floor, without borders, graffiti on self-extending canvas. Rolling cables laid out for rock and roll, popcorn movie reels. Even the food carts are available to all. Artists, hostages, and even the police officers who are here to handle the case stop by. Bro, you gotta try this extra deep dish demon pepper pizza fresh out of the oven. They aren't even charging for it. Don't just stand there all stone-faced. This food's so good it's gonna make you cry. Hey, I'm doing you a favor here, and you're still giving me that stink eye. What, you're from Syracuse or something? What does being Syracuse or not have to do with anything? I just realized you're the you're the rat who spray-painted my police car. Huh, now that you mention it... Eh, what's the big deal, anyway? Here, try a bite of this pizza first. If you do a good job getting everyone evacuated, I would drag you down to the station. The police officer takes a big bite of the pizza, and remarkably, a streak of tears actually flows down his cheeks. It's just the pure spice that makes you cry, isn't it? Where are you flying, tired foul beast? Towards tomorrow's wind. I thought you were just another greedy jerk, but it turns out you can rock out after all. You can rock out after a couple of glasses of wine, huh? What are you on about? I was the lead singer in my alma mater's rock band. Only the folks back home didn't put so much pressure on me. You think I like nodding along? The old fart's not around, right? Let me tell you straight up, that guy loves surprise inspections more than anything else, peeking at what you're doing on your terminal. If you're not working, he takes it straight out of your salary. Last time, I shut off my terminal just as he was coming by. He got mad and started demanding that I turn it back on, but lo and behold, it was nothing but pages and pages of work. He was so mad he tried to kick my chair. Ha! What did you just say? Huh? You tell me. That's the whole truth right there. Here you go, boss. The drunk man pops open a bottle of beer with his ear, an act that wins him raucous applause, and pours it all over the livid old man. We really struck the jackpot this time. We not only got to see Raynell's announcement, but also visited the Galleria. And now we even got to participate in the Pop-Up Street Artist Festival. This is probably a bit of an exaggeration, but we might not have had the same luck without Mateo. Are you serious, amigo? No, of course not. I was just making an off-handed remark. We're all adults here, so watch what you say. Got it. Let's head over to the dance floor. Papa, why are you sitting over here instead of joining the celebrations? Because I'm getting old, and I've already had my share of excitement this morning. 
Wouldn't want to get in the way of the youths. I'll do my own, like, I'll go do my own thing then. Go ahead. Have a good time with the others. Techno shrugs and heads towards the dance floor, her small frame quickly disappearing into the crowd. The old firefighter squints his inebriated eyes, voluntarily tapping along to the rhythm of the music as he watches the never-ending parade of people on the dance floor. That is, until a man approaches him from the other end of the exhibition hall, exuding an aura completely incongruous with the gaiety and joyousness of the event. Hey, Diaz, congratulations. You got to hold your party at my place after all. Got a problem with that? I'm not so stingy. Plus, I'm not going to let a little provocation get to me. Sounds nice. Want to take the dance floor for a song or two? I'll pass. Oh, your dance partner isn't here. Doesn't seem to want to dance with you anymore. Nonsense. What about you, then? Why are you out here drinking by yourself? Where's your dance partner? You're asking the wrong guy. If I wanted to dance, I'd have my pick of anyone in this hall right now. Anyone, except for you. We're not out of the woods, brata. Oh, but we are. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so that was something. It's enough to knock me out of my, my register. Okay. Anyway. We're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. Um, maybe once this uh, rolls around again. Did it, did it say something about Mateo's uh, debuff? Yes, it did. Okay. So I just completely missed that because I was too distracted looking at his second form. Okay, so. Thank you, TVPG, for pointing that out to me. Uh, okay. So yes. No problem? Thank you. Yes. Okay. So I had no idea about that defense debuff. So that would probably have been good to know. Um, so yeah. My instinct about wanting to put Mateo in, um, yeah, wanting him to be in melee range as soon as possible was definitely on the money, and the inconsistency of uh, defending against him, yeah, the inconsistency of defending against him was probably a result of that. So, one way or the other, though, we are done with this for now. Yeah, I don't... I mean, even if it weren't way past the time that I would ideally like to have ended, uh, then, yeah, we still definitely don't have time for a successful attempt, I don't think. But yes, we do have a story, but I don't think we have time to tell it right now. At the very least, we don't have time for me to comfortably tell it. So, we will conclude the operation story CRST3 next time tomorrow I guess we'll do that and I don't know <laughs> I don't know maybe we'll go back and clear some of these other events because one thing that I pointed out uh, well I don't know uh, I guess I can just go to the store because yes essentially the point that I was going to make is that there's outfits for for our intrepid band of rainbow six members and i have precisely one i am for short precisely one originium prime to get these costumes to get all of them so i guess i'll go do a mission left because there's still a few missions that have not been restarred i'm glad that i didn't have to get like a three star rating on cr8 for that I would for the eh, the data block, but I'm not that worried about it. But yeah, there's a lot of much easier missions. Yeah, level 35, laughable now. Um, oh, I just realized this is uh yeah, this is the the Galleria. Both of these are the Galleria. I had thought that this was a schematic of it, but I hadn't realized that yeah, they were both the both the same. 
Interesting. But yeah, anyway. So next time we'll do CRST3, then probably clear up CR2. I could maybe make, no, I was going to say I could maybe make a another attempt at CR8, but no, I'm not going to do that. Because I am ready for a break, like I said, and yeah. Anyway, so, the time has come to wrap up. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, uh, yeah, I can find a, a target on my own. One way or another, though, let's see. So yes, so, like we just went over, next time, tomorrow, we are going to do CRST3. We're going to do the thing, and we're going to get uh, outfits, I guess. I don't think I, I don't think I have it in me to do much more than that, to be honest. Because I am tired. <laughs> but yes. Though I have been recovering nicely, the issue with my arm is still somewhat stressful for me, especially now that I've been moving it a little bit more, and so it's been uh, giving me more unpleasant neural feedback. So, anyway, that has been something that I have had to deal with a little bit, so I am ready for a little bit of uh, taking it easy. Yeah, again, next event, I don't know when the next event will be, but hopefully next time an event rolls around, I'll be a little bit more prepared. At least a little bit more prepared to start a little bit earlier. Yeah, I don't know. Because again, part of the issue is just the fact that I insist on a weird sort of half measure in that I ne I'd neither commit to having like strong units, nor do I commit to having weak units. Next event is Thursday, Originium Dust Rerun. Ah, this Thursday? Okay. I guess that changes some of my plans going forward. Um, okay. Because yes, I knew that Operation Originium Dust was rerunning. I didn't know that it was rerunning immediately. So. Uh, okay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you for the information. Um, well, okay. That's something to think about. So, we're probably going to play more Arknights on Thursday. I guess we'll just... You know what? Yeah, we'll just do some short streams to close out the week. Because, again, I do want to get a little bit more rest. And I definitely don't want to do more long streams, because this is way later than I would like it to be. We did what we had to do to get through the mission, though. <laughs> but yes. So... Once again, any raid suggestions I would be delighted with. If not, we will do as we, you know, I will make do. But yes, so, tomorrow should be roughly 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Somewhere between 8.30 p.m. and 9 p.m. is usually closer. Thursday, we will probably be doing Originium Dust, um, probably around 9 p.m., 9 p.m. to 9.30. Probably only going to do maybe a one-hour stream of that. Since Originium Dust is rerunning, we're going to continue that on... Yeah. Yeah, if that's... the uh, If the collab doesn't happen, we will do more Operation Originium Dust. If it does happen, we'll do the collab. And the collab will be whatever the collab will be. But when that will be, will be Friday, 9pm or 9.30pm Central Time. And... I guess we can... I can live with doing a stream on Saturday. I have the day off from work anyway, so I can get my rest in <laughs> elsewhere. So. It's not that exhausting. I did have fun. Just griping a little bit. But yes. So. Not seeing any raid suggestions. So. So, so, so. I think tonight we're going to go... Um, I don't know. Um, let's see, who is online? Um, hmm. <laughs> Pardon, 
again, I don't know. I'm not that tired, but I am tired. I am definitely tired. My, my brain's a little bit frazzled right now. <clears throat> That's it. So, let's go and visit, um, you know who, you know who we haven't seen in a while? We haven't seen Rook, Rook the Knight. Yeah, again, I don't know if I could say with confidence that Rook the Knight has not been streaming for a while, or if I just happen to have not caught their streams for a while, but I haven't seen them for a good while. But yes. So, playing some Helldivers 2, it looks like. I've not played that game myself, but I know a lot of people who, who like it and have talked quite a bit about it. Rook the Knight. So, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Feels good to be able to type that out easily again. So, anyway, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have continued your... Alright, let's take that again. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>